Okay, guys. So, today, we are fighting the war against the thrips and fungus gnats. I have my Safeters End All Topical Spray that I will use to coat all of the plants completely. I will make sure that I get all of the sides, underneath the leaves, inside the flowers. Make sure that I get a little bit on the dirt everywhere and all of that. Just giving a quick mist. Uh, we will, we will be victorious. We are not giving up on these plants. Uh, we have no choice. We must be victorious. Okay. Everything has been sprayed. It has all been sprayed down. Pretty soon I will remove one inch of dirt from everything. So let's take a look at me digging up some dirt. Phase one has been completed. The initial air attack with the spray. Now I'm going in for my ground assault by removing one inch of dirt, putting it in the bucket. And I will do this for every plant. I will make sure that I get one inch all across, regardless of the depth of dirt or anything like that. I was sure when I sprayed to get underneath all of the leaves and inside all of the flowers. This was the uh, the most effective thorough spray that I could do. Uh, God, I hope this works. Okay, so once the dirt has been removed, I've removed one inch of dirt. You can see some of the roots are exposed there. What I'm going to do is spray it down really well. Once again with the insecticide, I will spray it until everything is wet. And just fill it all up. We don't want anything left behind to survive and try to breed. We will be victorious. We will be victorious. So while I'm doing this, I will be removing any damaged leaves like that, or like that, anything at all that looks suspicious and it will all be thrown into the garbage. All right. The top inch of soil has been removed from everyone, even over there. Made sure my bonsai pepper up there, he now has uh, less soil in him. So there's my giant pile of uh, garbage that I found. And this is all of the soil that I took out. That is a, uh, geez, I don't know how many liters this is. It's a seven kilogram bucket of uh of dirt now so yeah this is my last ditch effort we are at war we will win next up is filling in the dirt so here is my bag of dirt i am using pro mix i'm not too sure if this is where the threats came from I have to hope that they didn't. If they did, that's uh, really crappy for ProMix. Um, so as you can see, we've got a bunch of exposed roots in here. So we're just going to go ahead, fill them up to almost the top, and then we'll put the diatomaceous earth in. God, I hope I'm saying that right. Some DE. We'll uh, put a light powdering over them. And uh, I even got my aloes down there. Take a look. At those poor guys all dug up. So we're gonna we're gonna get that done. And uh I will show you guys really quick how full I'm getting them. This is hard to do with one hand. I'm filming with my phone and making a giant mess. So, anyways, I will just put in enough so that it's almost at the top, and then I will have a light layer of uh, DE there so hopefully hopefully this will deal with the situation if not man I don't know I feel like I'm running out of options so we're gonna do this one more time and try to save the pepper lab okay they've all been filled in with dirt looking good no exposed roots haven't missed anybody 
doing good doing good even over in there they've been filled in the only one that has not been is the baby leader which is getting the heck out of here because i don't really want it anymore okay so next up is adding a little bit of de well all we have to do is powder it up a little bit hard to do this one-handed i'm getting it all over the place but basically i'm not putting a huge amount in there i am just putting enough for a uh or a fun coating all the way around so that those little bastards can suffer suffer and die so that's kind of kind of the idea okay so once i've got all of this done i'll let you guys know but uh just to be uh just to kind of give you guys a frame of reference it's currently eight o'clock p.m now I started working in this laboratory at 1 p.m. So this has been quite the chore for me today. But we're gonna we're gonna win this war. This is a war, and we're gonna win. We are gonna save this lab. Okay, guys, the time is now 9:30. I have put diatomaceous earth in there. See all that happy white stuff that will kill the bugs. Unfortunately, I ran out. I have no more. I have no more. Still have this to do. Still have these guys down here to do. Still have this to do. And still have the plants in my grow tent along with the bonsai up there. So... I drove out to Home Depot to try to pick some up. They were closed. Went to check out Canadian Tire, which is near the Home Depot. Also, they were closed. Unfortunately, I will not be able to finish this project tonight. I will have to continue on with this tomorrow. So what I'm going to do tonight is spray the crap out of this dirt with, um, with uh, Safer Zendal and... Yeah, get those guys over there too. And just try to kill any place that they can try to lay their eggs. It's disappointing that I couldn't finish this today. But, whatever. I'm going to go to bed. And uh, we will continue this video the next day. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay. So, looking down there. They're all filled in with diatomaceous earth. Over here, same deal. Over here, same deal. And over there, same deal. These plants here also have gotten some. But right here, these two guys are too wet. And the diatomaceous earth has not... Um, well, it's wet, and so it's not going to work. Diatomaceous earth needs to be dry in order to kill bugs. To kill the bugs. So, I don't know. I might, I might put these guys in Ziploc bags just to keep everything separated. I might put them in some type of plastic bag to uh, keep anything that germinate or li that grows in there to keep it, keep it in the bag and maybe killed. Maybe I'll just get rid of the peppers. <laughs> At this point, I am willing to sacrifice a few to save the rest. Kind of sad about getting rid of this guy. He's the only one of his type that uh, um, that did germinate. So, yeah. Okay, so. Looks like we're doing well. Looks like we're doing well. Next up, we are going to go in for some chemical warfare I have some safer and all insecticide that I will mix in with the water and I will water from the bottom I still haven't gotten rid of this don't worry this will be gone by the end of the video 
So I'm gonna put this stuff here into the water jugs there, fill them up, get them going. I've got diatomaceous earth all over me. And uh, once I've watered, I will do another clean because as you can see, this place is filthy. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. The war, the war has, the battle has almost been finished. The battle has almost been fought. When I came in here today, I have not seen a single bug. I checked all of my flowers. No thrips. No thrips in any of the flowers. Uh, there was no flies floating around. Nothing. So, so far it seems to be working. So here's hoping that we can save this pepper lab. <sighs> I, I will be so sad if I have to kill everything. Like I said before, this guy here, it's just... I uh, put so much love and care into that plant. I just, it's going to kill me to get rid of that. Anyways, I'm going to water from the bottom. And then I will give you guys a quick conclusion. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. The chemical agents have been produced. Okay, guys. The current time is midnight. I'm so done with this. I have watered everything. Everything has been watered. Uh, so let's recap everything that we did. We did our initial spray down. We removed one inch of soil. We replaced... Oh, and then we sprayed down again. And then we replaced that soil. And then we diatomaceous earthed it. And then we gave a quick spray again. And then we watered with insecticide. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. So, that is how I'm fighting my battle. Whether this war has been won or lost, we will know within a week. If I see bugs within a week, I'm just going to rebuild. I'm going to tear everything down and rebuild. So wish me luck, guys. Other than that, hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.